Finally, we have come to the last presentation of the day, which is which is Evil, group and peer-based quizzing system, mentored by Mr. Yo Yogan Sharma and managed by Mrs. Kiran Khosla. The application aims to develop an effective interface which motivates students for in-depth study of a subject and create questions in quiz format. The main feature of the system is an intra-class quiz with the teacher acting as a monitor whereas the student comes up with objective type questions on a particular topic and quiz each other in the group. The current version of the application has Hindi and English language support. Now the team is here to explain further. Good evening respected professors and dear friends. We are members of the Aka School Education Project Group and we will present to you our application Eval, a group and peer based quizzing system. Now first our team. I, will, I would like to thank our, uh, our mentors, uh, Yugan sir, Raya ma'am and Nilesh sir for their constant motivation and support. Without their help, the project wouldn't have been a success. My team members, Rajat, myself, Sukalyan, Suman and Vamshi. Now coming to the introduction. In a class of say 50 or 60 students, it's a bit difficult for the teacher to organize a quiz by dividing the uh, class into various groups. Again, uh, while evaluation, it's still difficult for the teacher to uh, analyze and evaluate particular individuals. So, we have, we thought about the problem and we came upon, came out with this, uh, with this application, eval. In this what happens is, the students form groups, the students form groups and ask questions among themselves and the teacher acts only as a monitor and controls the entire process and the process of formation of student groups is done entirely by the system. Also the system evaluates the students based on the answers which I will be explaining how and in that way the performance records are also generated. The second motivation is we would like to increase the learning of the students. Now if the students are motivated to ask questions, they would dig deeper into the subjects that are taught and they would form, try and form quality questions. So this was the second motivation. Now coming to the requirements of our applications, the hardware is required are one server on which the teacher will be sitting, uh, Akash tablets will be given to all the clients, clients will be the students and a wireless access point to which all the clients and the server will be connected. Now coming to the various uh, hardwares, now the server, the teacher is the server, uh, the server has the interface to uh, interact with the clients as well as the backend database. Now the database contains records of students, teachers, also it stores the performances and questions which are asked during the quiz. Now the coming to the uh, client side, client side also has an interface to uh, uh, change the password or maybe uh, and viewing performances and questions that are saved. Also the teacher has the option of uploading documents or study materials which the students can download with that option. Now I will explain the main workflow of our application which is the quiz module that is the interaction between the server and the client. Now what happens is the main requirements of the quiz session is that uh, all the clients and the server should be connected to the wireless access point. Uh, secondly that uh, the teacher and the student should be registered in the uh, database. This we can do with the uh, uh, interface that is provided in the server. Now the, the, for the quiz application what happens is the teacher starts the server, she logs into the server and she gives some parameters for the quiz. Uh, after the teacher logs into the uh, server, the students can also start logging in and if the teacher wants to start a quiz session, all the students are redirected to a quiz page where the instructions are displayed along with an interface to show, uh, to ask for being a leader or not. So the t students get an interface to become a leader. Now the motivation to make a leader for each group was an unity of command. Moreover, if all the students, they suddenly send questions to the teacher, the network might get clogged and, or, and the teacher will also get overloaded actually. That is why we made sure that each group sends one question. Okay. So the thing is, uh, the students opt for becoming a leader. So if the students who opt for becoming a leader, the, the request goes to the server and the server uh, processes the request and selects the leaders based on the parameters. Now the non-leader students, they will again get an interface to select the leaders under whom they want to be. In this way, the groups are formed for the quiz. So uh, in this way, the groups are formed and the quiz is ready to start. The teacher gives some final parameters like uh, the uh, answering question, answering time, question time. Finally, the quiz starts. And here, I would like to uh, clarify two, para, two terms which I will be using in the rest of the presentation. One is an active group. It is the group that will be asking a question. And the passive groups are all the groups except the active group. Now, when, once the uh, quiz is started by the teacher, the active group leader, 
you will get an interface to ask a question. We have provided three different types of questions, objective type question, multi multiple choice questions, one word and true and false. What the leader will do is, he will select one type of question, type the question and the answer and send it to the teacher. What the teacher will do is, she will receive the question, she will check out, she will cross check the question about its validity. What happens is, the teacher will uh, uh, see the question, if she is uh, satisfied with the question, she will press the accept button and give a level. The importance of the level will be actually discussed by Vamshi. Then after the question is accepted, what will two things will happen. The question will be saved in the server database. Secondly, the question will be forwarded to all the passive groups, group members actually for performance. So all the passive group members will uh, answer the question and send the answer to the server. The server will evaluate and based on the marking scheme which Vamshi will again discuss. So only the leader answers. No, 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 no. Leader will send the question, but passive group members, all the passive group members will get. The leader, passive group leader has got access to answer the No, passive group members. Group answering has a problem. Why? Sir, so because this uh, this group. So what is added thing of, I want to evaluate the performance. What, what, what business do you have to say that uh, performance is to be evaluated based on individual? Yeah. Groups will ask the question individually. Sir, evaluation has to be done individually. The reason is. Sir, the groups are not static or fixed. Like for each session, there will be a different group. So, this this was the quiz over workflow. Now, okay. uh, next part he will be explaining. Sir, uh, as Sukalyan described, uh, when the question is received by the teacher, she will have an interface of viewing the question. After that, she can validate or accept it. When she accepts it, she will give a level. So, coming to the technical details of the application, the main uh, backbone of the of our application is networking. We use TCP server, UDP server on the same uh, server side application and for the data representation we use Java serialization and JSON and JSON is simple so we use for uh, querying performances and questions and for storage we use MySQL database where we kept the client side very light because the, all the performances questions are stored in the server side. So all the performance statistics of each quiz combinedly will be stored in the server so that she can view the entire report of one month or uh, no storage in the client side which is very light, light very lightweight and it's good for Akash tablet and client can easy, easily fetch the uh, questions from the server and questions are lo locally downloaded by the client to the local database in the Akash application so that they can view it at their home or something. So uh, why we use UDP? UDP is connectionless protocol where there is less overhead and our application is so time sensitive where the questions should be formed immediately and to be sent to the server so that's why we use UDP.